What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Haas Capital video. Uh, today's video, we are going to be talking about a new project that I actually just dropped in the room. I know I normally don't do this, uh, do videos for new projects, but this one uh, is actually tied to a video series that I've already started doing for you guys when I'm talking about HBAR NFTs and the coming marketplaces that are happening, uh, as well as the build out and the growth that's taking place on um, the Hedra uh, Hashgraph network and their blockchain. Um, this project is the Suku, Suku project uh, that was just recently put in the room for you guys. Um, and it's presents an interesting opportunity. There's actually two different ways that you can invest in this. Um, and there might be like three, actually a couple of different ways where you can actually make money from the opportunity. Uh, they've recently announced that they will be going public via a SPAC. For those of you who've been in the room with me since last year, uh, you know SPACs guys, you know um, the shell companies uh, that merge with other companies, they go public and you know how to trade SPACs because we've gone over this. Um, there's always gonna be a run up when they have the announcement of who the merge is with, then it sells off. And then when the name change happens, there's another usual run up. And then after the name change is when the insiders uh, and early pipe investors are able to dump and sell. So your best bet is usually to wait like 60 to 90 days after that name change. And you'll probably still get it at a great, uh, close to the IPO price. Uh, almost every SPAC, the greatest of the greatest SPACs, so far, all of them, uh, they've all traded in the same manner. So just check the charts. But uh, the fact that this is a token and for you Coinbase traders, it is listed on Coinbase. So you guys can go out there and get it on Coinbase if you'd like to. Uh, I think it presents a great opportunity, um, you know, not just because of uh, the additional aspects that it's bringing, but the, the public traded side of it. Um, you know, it's fully audited means it's an SEC compliant uh, company. Uh, there's an, that means it's an SEC compliant token. I've already introduced you guys and we know Stacks is SEC compliant as well, just like Polymath or uh, Polymath is another SEC compliant token. Um, so you know that those have some great upside potential that, you know, they shouldn't have to worry about anyone coming after them or suing them uh, for cease and desist things. Uh, it really acts as a supply chain uh, blockchain. Um, and, you know, it, we, we've seen this in VeChain, we've seen this in other blockchains that act as supply chains. Uh, however, this one's got some pretty unique partnerships that it's already formed. Um, and they're also building out a metaverse and they've got, you know, some DeFi protocols uh, that you can use as far as borrowing and lending. So very early on the network and they've already managed to do a lot. Um, you know, as we go through it, we'll go through the different uh, parts that they do have to offer. Uh, as far as it, you've got Suku Omi, which is the traceability and transparency uh, basically, uh, companies like Nike's high end brands is what they're really going after to prevent the counterfeiting, the fraud and everything else. Um, uh, so uh, imagine that uh, you guys know when these Nike drops come, how these Nike drops are exclusive now, even before NFTs, like I'm talking about real shoes, not NFT stuff. So you buy a pair of real Nikes or real Jordans. How do you know you're getting A grade, B grade, or some type of variant, or if you're getting the actual real shoe? Um, well, they've built a tracking and um, a tracking system uh, via the blockchain with the little IoT device uh, that the users are able to use on the system to track the whole history of whatever product products uh, you might be using. Uh, Infinite World is the, metaverse, is the metaverse NFT marketplace that they're building out. Um, I'll go over that and I'll show you as well as the DeFi, uh, Suki, Suku DeFi. Um, just a heads up here, guys, if you do plan to play around in this, you probably will have to catch a flight, aka you'll need a VPN. Um, to access some of these sites. So just giving you the heads up for that. Uh, Infinite World, uh, this is, uh, again, you know, brands and creators access into the metaverse. Uh, this is a place where you guys can come right now. It is, uh, uh, it's still early. Um, I think there's only two, maybe three projects that are trading on there. Well, one of them is a young Jeezy project, which I actually did not even know he did. I had to look into it to see if this was something real. And um, I guess it is something that's actually real uh, that Jeezy co-signed this. And, you know, that, that wouldn't be far-fetched to think that would happen. Uh, we've seen Snoop Dogg co-signing NFTs like every other week. He's in some new NFT project and has his own projects dropping. Uh, so basically, it is right now just acting as a marketplace, a place where you can come shop and buy. Um, you can go through. 
and they talk about you know the future of how they plan uh, to build this out and why this is important um, and what they look to do for me this seems more of tying to the lines remember i told you guys we're going to live in a future where you buy a pair of nikes and you get the virtual nikes too um and you're able to have the virtual and the real life pair and then you'll be able to sell your virtual pair keep the real pair or sell your real pair keep the virtual pair sell them together as a combo um something like that i, I believe is more so even going to get built out with them so we'll keep an eye on look up here is the announcement they have that lets you know that they have uh, already intended it uh to be trading and they'll trade on the nasdaq under tickle symbol j p g so they got the jpeg symbol i thought that was cool um no intentions full disclosure i got i don't own any of uh that spac stock i don't plan on going out and buying any of it uh suku token i do plan to be adding to so um you know full disclosure on that so this is the, the marketplace right here. And as you can see, guys, um, it is a uh, Hedra half crash NFTs. So that is the exciting part because that just shows a quality real life, huge project like this, that's going to be publicly traded is decided to work on H bar for their NFT marketplace where they could have chose open C and anyone else, but they chose H bar. Let's you know, guys, use this opportunity to buy some H bar on the dip, guys. Under 25 cents is a gift. We know once it gets back over 25 cents could lead to a major breakout. So a couple of things I'll tell you about this NFT marketplace from what I've been able to find. Um, the only way you can really transact and buy on here is it does require a full KYC um you know approval so that means you'll have to upload kyc docs basic driver's license passport uh things of that nature go back to the marketplace what's going on right here all right here we go um so here's what i wanted to show you guys so when you want to do purchases you can purchase in either crypto or fiat uh right now um like the membership badge you can see it's limited to 3500 of them um the lowest bid is seven dollars i've seen some high ones going for like a hundred dollars plus on this and what it just does is it gives you access to early drops and things so if maybe this is something you want to come over here and buy for seven dollars um it's like the only nft i would probably buy on here just for access to it now when you guys look to buy on here uh if you decide uh that you want to buy in crypto so let's go ahead and do from price high to low on this just so we can see it i just want to show you guys how the buying works so you can do that uh i'm not actually going to buy any of these oh did my mouse just die yes it did i don't know why i'm gonna be charging this thing at night all right there we go new mouse always ready and on deck so let's say we wanted to buy this for a million dollars even though we have no intentions to um you know the fact that you could get one for seven dollars could be cool you go buy now oh i have to sign in i've already signed in and i've created an account um let me go back and sign in to do this real quick just so i can show you guys uh how to get everything done on here um all right there you go i am signed in so hit buy now uh my current balance i have to add funds so you can either pay with cryptocurrency or fiat but if you pay with cryptocurrency you have to do kyc if you don't pay with cryptocurrency and you use like moon pay uh to do it and uh and make the, the the payment then you don't have to kyc you can just come on here and buy but be aware of the moon pay fees moon pay fees are crazy um like i went as a test just to go ahead and transfer like 50 bucks over here i was going to transfer 50 bucks and moon pay charged me 30 dollars. so i was like now nah, i'm going to cancel that i'm not going to do it um but if you come over here and you can see it's going to tell you fifty thousand dollars or more or any type of um using uh crypto requires kyc at least level one all right and that's if you're doing fifty thousand or less fifty thousand or more is going to be kyc level two but i just wanted to put you guys up and um you know bring to your attention that this nft marketplace does exist that it is on h bar um that they and they do use h bar as a currency to pay for these so all these are going to be great use cases and opportunities for your h bar um again you know h bar has not had real DeFi or a lot that you can do the tokens on there, but this year is supposed to be the year that happens. Uh, the Suku DeFi uh, lending, borrowing and lending marketplace, guys, you guys know I'm huge on these money markets. I love DeFi. I love the borrowing and lending opportunities and being able to leverage your leverage yourself, not degenerate leverage, but you know, just being able to be smart and not have to sell out of your coins, you know, 
Now, an opportunity for someone like me, you know, if you got a lot of HBAR and you've been waiting on the move for HBAR, but you don't want to sell it, now you can go ahead and access some of your liquidity through a DeFi portal. Once again, you will have to catch a flight and depending on where you live, you may need a VPN to access this. I don't know, uh, but you guys will figure it out once you get to the website. All right. Um, again, as you can see, Suku hbar and usdc are the tokens that you have to use for uh borrowing and depositing uh as you can see it's still fairly early right now um there's about 51 million um supplied right now mostly in suku tokens uh but borrowed not a lot really borrowed so the markets are still fairly um fairly weak and fairly early right now uh but again another opportunity for you guys and if you decide to go out there and you want to start buying some suku token at least you know there are some things you can do with it you can purchase nfts um uh, and you can go ahead and do some DeFi borrowing and lending. Uh, some talk of a possible swaps and different things in the future we'll be looking out for. Uh, but I just wanted to review this project, guys. And I wanted to do it separate than the HBAR NFT video that I just gave you. Uh, only because I thought that this project should get its own bit of attention. Uh, it does have a lot going for it. And I think there could be some upside potential uh, that may be worthwhile to look at. So we'll keep an eye on it. Anyways, I hope this video is helpful, guys. And I will catch you on the next one.